Upward is a really nice spawn range, though, but I think this is going to be an all-eggs-in-one-basket defense on a fucking custom-made castle. This is going to be cool. No, th this is Friday Night Fights. That's why it says Friday Night Fights in the in the title, and also why we have the exclamation point FNF command. <laughs> I do Zeus for multiple communities, and Barb just muted himself, which means he's probably talking about that. Look, all I'm saying is... When you play with a group for six months, you learn a lot about people, and you can form your own opinions and whatnot on whatever, but <sighs> knowing who's still in a unit, and then what they've done in the past, and then what you still hear from people that were in the unit longer than you, and have even up until recently left, and you still hear those horror stories, it... It's concerning. Uh, what? Um, fog might be fucked. <laughs> yes. Like this motherfucker. So they can still have a delayed weather effect, though. Uh, we've seen thick fog in the past that lightens up by the 15-minute mark because uh, it's called the fog forecast in the mission file. But this. Fog forehead. Oh, I mean, this is a perfect third round. <laughs> Test of Gemeinden Wesser Landkreis Olsen. Nice. What does that mean? I have no clue. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, Wester. Yeah, this is zombie fog, definitely. Appears there's going to be a green four faction, and they're called zombies. All right. Egg. Mm hmm. They gotta come through the fog. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I was about to say, when do they have the Zombies and Demons mod to FNF? You didn't I, even I notice. Part of the mod set update. It's been in there the entire time. <laughs> it was part of the FNF config mod. Just so, uh, like what we do with TSB assets, we just hide shit in there, or, or T1 add-ons. Yep. You just hide shit in well, there. Well, it's, um... Whatever. T1 add-ons doesn't exist anymore. It's now Liru's TSB add-on, so the T0s don't get confused. Because that was a problem. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. Okay, so let's let's take a look at these uh, factions real quick. Blue four are going to be uh, French forces using the uh, fast the black ballistic helmets. No, no, these are, I think MIRCs. No, I mean, I thought they were fast, but no, it's it's um. No, it's a bit different shape. Although it could they just got the French awesome. stuff on it though, so it is okay. Uh, uh, I think it, it's, it might be PS uh, PA uh, PASC. Yeah, PAST. However, you uh, pronounce that acronym, but. Uh, yeah, 556 five, for uh, FAMAS assault rifles, FN I'm, enemies in 556. Five, I'm going to be honest, the FAMAS is one of the better 556 five, weapons because of its fire rate. That gun can put rounds out very quickly, yeah. and in a CQB environment, it's going to be a very nasty weapon. With the vehicles and all the heavy 50 cal and this one AO, I don't, I don't see Blue Force sending anything to defend uh, Sector One. Now this is a wave sector defense, though, so Sector One is going to have to be taken first. But I can, oh wait, never mind. No, nope. I thought um, the the blue for Sector Two and Three blended in with the uh, AO. I thought it was uh, one, uh, you know, the one where you take one sector first and then the other one unlocks. But it's not that. My bad. Uh, I think it is actually. No, because um, I don't see a red rim. There would be a red rim on Sector 1 if that was the case, but I... You sure? I don't think so either, now that I'm thinking about it. Cause yeah. It, no, because no, it doesn't say active and active. Yep. Yeah, 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 that's the tell. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so... I say it was Sector Defense, not Rush mm -hmm. or whatever. Not, no, yeah, no, Rush would be no. in order. But even though we got a nice 360 here, I don't think... Blue 4 is going to have enough manpower to fully cover it. Also, if you start going on the ground level, the fog is starting to alleviate. So, yes, they are uh, timing it in the forecast. Slightly. We'll see how, how it develops. We're uh, still is it... 11 minutes in, though, so it's it's going to keep alleviating to a seeable level. Otherwise, like because these missions are audited. And I know we make jokes in TMTM all the time about audited missions, but... 
Yeah, well, we can make jokes more about the server at this point. Yeah. How, how the how the TM TM has been going, but uh, yeah, no, I, I'm no like, shit, I think doc. Lighting up, uh, you know, alleviating, as you say. Mm -hmm. What's interesting though is that um, the mission maker has barricaded pretty much all the roads leading into towns. Um, there is one. Oh, the one over to the um, south side has some openings, but it's still pretty uh, well garrisoned or uh, mm -hmm. barricaded. Um, so the uh, attacking forces will need to come in through uh, unconventional routes. Uh, yeah. So that'll be a little interesting. Uh, but yeah, um, let's say we, we kind of got off track. Uh, Blue Four also has um, a few statics, two M2 heavy machine gun AA mounts, uh, an MATV with a 50 cal and a gun turret, uh, two Humvees with 240s, which are the up armored variants with uh, gun turrets as well, nice ballistic shielding, and I think that's it for Blue Four. They also have the Carl Gustav, and I'm going to just assume that they have the. Uh, um, fucking M240 for the uh, MMG. Uh, the Marksman also has... Jesus Christ, why are you doing this now? Um, sorry. Uh, you alright? Yeah, no, I'm good. It's just... My... Actually, um, I don't see any Foxtrot or Charlie machine gunners, so I don't think they have any weapon teams. Mm, yeah, good point. Except for uh, just Charlie 2. Pierce does have a uh, HK417, still 7.62 NATO, still 20 rounds, just a, a little different uh, kit. So that's nice to see a little variety. But that is it for Blue Four. Brandy's kicking in, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look over at Red Four real quick. They All right, nine minutes remaining. They are Norwegian. Um, they're still have some, have some people already running up. Uh, mm -hmm. They actually have BTRs and gas trucks. Oh, and that's hunting. nice. So that's an interesting call. And a Taru? Yeah, a uh, Taru bench. Yeah, it's so an interesting call there. I don't, roller, yeah, roller I don't think we've seen a Taru Benji use an FNF before, so that's going to be no, interesting. No, never. Yeah, first time. Um, they are using uh, looks like uh, HK four sixteens. Yep. Uh, which is also five five six. Uh, I think those are also mini me's. Yes, those appear to be so. Yeah. Um, and other uh, standard kind of uh, NATO-ish kits. Pilots have MP sevens as a personal <clears throat> defense weapon. <clears throat> um, do they have a machine gunner in their Charlie 2 team? Uh, no, they do not as well. Just the uh, Bassbeard with the Carl Gustav, who is currently uh, flying around. He's uh, mm -hmm. been influenced by Nafs and Iander for sure. Uh, but yeah, for, as for assets, they have two up armored Humvees with PKMs, a few transport Humvees. Um, actually, Scratch had four PKM Humvees. That's, yeah. That, that's, that's a lot. Uh, a number of gas transport trucks and a BTR-80. Well, it's it's to allow for Op4 to do their massive charge across open territory to get yes. up to the mm -hmm. um, defensive lines. I do also want to say on a side note, the rounds today for NA have been very diverse. And I'm kind of happy about that. You know, this has been Norwegians versus French. You seldom see the French units get out, but Norwegians, I don't think I've ever seen before. No, and they look like they've, they've been built on this part of this month because they they have yeah. their flags on their uniforms and vests, mm -hmm. so that's interesting to see. I mean, it's not like we've actually looked, really looked into it, but... Uh, I think it's uh, cup assets, but... Because mm, I, I, I don't... Uh, it might be a patch feature, actually, with an RHS, but I'll have to dig in there. But either way, like, last round... I think it's either, because I don't recognize this camo pattern. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, and the last round was Chinese versus British, and then what was the first round? That was... AAF, my bad. Chinese versus AAF, and round one was Chinese versus British. So... Was it? No, it wasn't Chinese versus British. British were in there. British versus Russians. Russians, yep. I, I was... Yeah, I wasn't sure. my bad. But I I, I think that's kind of cool, because uh, it does get a little boring seeing the same EMR Russian guys fighting the Marpat mm -hmm. dude, so it, shout it, out to the mission makers that, for that. Like like I was saying with the 417 instead of the SR-25. Just change it up. It's a little variety. Um, they've been trying to really standardize things and keep things from Rabbits getting are too apex predators. Uh, crazy, but this is, uh, this is a nice compromise. Mm -hmm. Um... Otherwise, the I fog is still pretty thick, but I think that's also to allow Op4 just to get on the perimeter walls here. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, like I was saying, I'm pretty sure this is its own like European NATO um, mod because I don't remember seeing these. TMTM also uses Cup, and in my time mission making for them, I haven't seen anything with these uh, these camo patterns or anything. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. So. Cup is, I would say cup weapons and cup gear, uh, uniforms are really nice. It's just the vehicle damage models that can be a bit of a pain. Oh yeah, no, I mean, like you said, we were saying, they are better about it now, but it is yeah. so very much, um, th there is disparity between all mods as far as uh, damage modeling, characteristics, etc. Um, so you don't, you don't want to mix and match mods too much without doing the proper 40 hours of testing. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron one says F Warhammer FNF would be interesting yes I would absolutely love to see um, you know maybe IFA FNF or yeah Warhammer so I, I would like that however and I'll let you take the rest I will say uh, there's another group I uh, over uh, excuse me spectate uh, called OFCRA. They do a single two-hour round every Thursday. Though uh, yesterday they took the day off because uh, mod update, not mod updates, uh, server update borked their server and they were fixing it. Uh, they do a as I said one life two-hour operation, but they also dabble into IFA. Um, and it's actually pretty even between realism and IFA. Uh, slightly re leaning to more realism-based stuff, but they also... Whatchamacallit? Uh, focus a lot more on vehicles. And uh, mm -hmm. there's grenade launchers, there's uh, AT statics, uh, there's guided tow launchers. There's a, a lot more diversity with the equipment. I know AFI... Uh, um... Yeah, Arma so Finland also I, does um, some pretty yeah, good at PvP events. events. Coalition uh, is... Um, Coalition loves their PvP events. Yep, they do uh, PvP. It's a bit smaller scale, but it's uh, the same concept. Uh, and then they've got co um, CCOs, but they are taking a break from those still. But that's, that's like hardcore take every advantage PvP. And yeah. if you're into that, by all means, I'd recommend you go play, but... Uh, it's also it can get very meta y very quickly. Very but if, if you wanna um, if you wanna take every advantage that you can and absolutely dick on people, that's the way to go. And I now that I think about it, that actually sounded oh. really malicious, but a actually, um, I'm interrupted. Tarn folks in my chat is internet crap that I think. Oof. FNF does have special events on occasion. Mm -hmm. We have World War II coming up for the spring. Nice. Alright. First first I've heard of it, but yeah. But I, I'd love to see in like a coming year or two, um, IFA, Vietnam, there's actually a lot of easy ways you can take uh, any mod set and balance it out, especially with FNF's config mod. Yeah, it takes some time and not everyone has that. That's yeah. kind of why um, FNF has uh, chosen to be- Mountain always crazy when he flies? No, but he's uh, gotten really good. Air missions. Uh, the Serbian thing uh, that we saw the past few weeks was kind of the extent of it, but we're not going to see too much crazy stuff, mm -hmm. I don't believe. That's not the direction that uh, the administration team wants to go in, which is fine. They they have all the right in the world to make that decision, um, but that is what it is. Wait, what were you talking about just now? We're just uh, the admin team going, like, they want to you know, kind of standardize things and not do too many crazy ideas. For who? For uh, F FNF. Gotcha. So I heard Serbian, and I'm like, wait, what? The, the, the stuff that we, um, last Friday, um, that was the, the finale of the Serbian, the Kosovo War, whatever stuff. The one with the, um, the guys with the berets and bandanas. The blue berets, do you remember those? And the UN Yeah, UN. yeah, that round, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. That was kind of the extent that they were willing to take it. Hey, look at the fog now. It's starting to lighten up a little bit more. Definitely from the air, it's cleared up a lot more. It's still pretty thick on the ground level, but... It's still pretty thick, but I am seeing that I can see a lot further. I'm looking at treetops in the distance. And if, yeah, you, if you look at Mito, up. for example, he can now see a lot more clearly through the fog here. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It is clearing up uh, considerably. So that's good to see. The sun's coming out. It's evaporating the fog. It's mm -hmm. realism. It's realism. Uh, Charm Fox says June is World War II if it's like last year. And yeah, to be fair, we've only been uh, doing this for FNF for since August. Since and what, August, like, and you were since earlier, since so yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's barely. it's great to see how much this place has grown mm. in that time. It's, it's awesome. 
I hope yeah. people keep enjoying it. I hope that uh, Armor can unfuck their server stuff so we can go past 124 and unlock our full potential. Yeah, no, the the 2.3 update, uh, 2.03, because uh, the build's 2.02, I assure you, will just make everything worse, like it always does. <laughs> so what happens when you have an 8-year-old game on a 20-year-old engine. Yeah, don't remind me. Oh, it's an abusive relationship if we keep coming back. Yeah, don't hurts. remind me. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm, is blood wing around? I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Funny. All right, Op 4 is apparently going to do a pincer maneuver, and they have a few forces on the ground. I think that's their X-ray group. Yep, I see uh, Major Cullen in there. He is their uh, marksman for Op 4 X-ray. But it looks like a lot of forces are going to go on the southern side. Uh, round's going to start. Yep, there it is. Uh, I'd be willing to bet the northern group is going to uh, swing around and take sector one. The southern group is going to go for a push from the southern side. And that Taru bench uh, being flown by Reapers. Oh, no, there is a TSB guy in here. My bad. Yeah. And they've got Foxtrot 2 and... Hold on, it's not Reapers flying. It's G-Legs, G -legs. got it. So, okay, I, I mistook the uh, the bench seat for a uh, pilot yeah, seat. I thought that was a wheel. The bench. Yep, yeah, so they got Olaf, uh, six and people in the back. X-Ray, though, with a PKT firing at it. Those guys on the bench are super exposed. But they can also fire back. I'm looking for skulls. They're all still fine right now. They're all still good. Uh, any no unconscious symbols either. Yeah, but they got to be careful. Those exposed rotors could easily be shot out of the twin rotor setup. Yep, looks like they're circling the land. But the Humvee, I think, is trying to get on the train tracks. Yep, and they are dismounting. And they're no, they are not away. Two people still on board. It's all part of the plan. Sure thing. Olaf and Navs are still in there. Anders prepping some AT in case that vehicle follows. And we're seeing a pincer strategy starting to form with the northern and southern sides. Uh, the one BTR is going in the middle to try to overwatch the southern side. And you have X-Ray going up on foot. Here comes the PKC. It's tough. Maybe. Reapers and all of them hiding in the bushes. I don't think they have any AT, so they gotta be, they gotta pick and choose their shots. Yep. Humvee rolls by. Iander's there, looking at it. He's only got an M72, but it stopped. It's on someone, and Iander letting that rocket fly. Engine Ooh. hit. No. Oh, I thought I saw engine smoke. What? I, I thought I saw- Wow. No glancing blow. And it really didn't do much. I don't think it even really did any meaningful damage. That is surprising. He had to have hit it in... He definitely hit it. I know he hit... I just... Where would he have hit it, though, to not cause a damage texture on the main hull and not kill the gunner? Because if you hit the... Uh, if you hit those uh, top plates with a rocket, it's going to at least knock the gunner unconscious. Or, yeah, and then hurt the turret or... Maybe hit the snorkel? No. Maybe? It, it was a weird angle, but no. I don't know. It. It's just one of those moments where you get a hit, it's just unlucky. Uh, it's enough to make them pull back in fear of, uh, you know, what if that was the Matt team for Op4 and they have another piece of AT to fire? But it looks like they're now turning around and waiting to see if uh, Op4 continues their push. Yeah, shot um, the antenna or something. Tune to HQ pushing a little bit south on that uh, uh, northern MSR. Um, I think that southern group might have been caught out from Blue 4, but I don't see any evidence of it. Oh my gosh, that's why they left two people in the fucking Taru. So they can be. <laughs> yes, it's the machine gunners. <laughs> 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 orbitals. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. It is a discount AC-130. That is, oh god, barely even that. It's drawn some fire, but... Uh, Definitely. Speed Spooky Taru. 
Meanwhile, the X-Ray Humvee has come back. It's firing back on the guys that were dismounted. Platoon 2 HQ has joined them. And the rest of Blue 4 is dismounting right here. But I think the driver's honking to make them get back in. Grenadier rounds coming in. I think actually that was Blue 4 putting them out to try to get some free kills. But they're going to have to be quick because uh, an Op 4 force is coming from their north. Yep, and they will get out of there, past the trees, and out of sight, out of mind. Another Maz, uh, excuse me, M72 Law there. So, single area, but multiple sectors within it. Op4 has a lot of room to maneuver. And here comes the Spooky again. The Taru 130. Aw, oh, man, should we, uh... Yash, I'm actually going to tell you to throw a poll up here. Is this a... Spooky Taru or a Taru 130? I'll let people in chat vote. There's not enough ordnance to be a uh, Taru 130. That's what they that's what they want you to think though. They could have a, a grenade launcher in there stashed away. You know, I was thinking You're not doing it. Ah, it's okay. Cuz it has what four seats on each side. Have the SLs, you know, swap their, you know, GLs for, you know, the Undersung GLs for uh, just regular rifles. There was, plan, but there was, but th there was an op I did a while ago where it was purely little birds with uh, the SOCOM benches so they could fit three people on each side. And it was literally a six shot grenadier with a 240 gunner and I believe a marksman rifle just mm -hmm. all on the benches on both sides. So the squads were literally just air assault, except they were never supposed to land. They were just supposed to keep shooting. And I kind of want to redo that op as a meme op again, but. X-Ray holding up in the church of St. Andy, and they are under a lot of fire. Platoon 2 HQ, uh, Cheese, Wiki, all this group up here. Uh, Reapers and Sandy is also firing onto it. Mm -hmm. They're getting out of here. Uh, again, this is sector control, which means that mm, all they have to do is uh, Offer just needs to have someone in the sector and no alive and conscious blue four in the sector, and they will mm -hmm. capture it immediately. What about a Taru 47? Yeah, that works because the AC 47 only had like mini guns on the side. That's perfect. That's what that's what a spooky is. Yes, you're oh my you're right. Fuck me. Okay. Otherwise, uh the Humvee is pulling back. You have Reapers charging in the one TSB player that could. He's gonna take that sector and that's gonna help close the northwestern pincer here into the AO. A little bit more. We do have a strong arm, weak arm pin, uh, pincer maneuver here, though. Uh, the strong arm being on the southern side and the weak arm that was going for sector one. That's a good prediction by Op4, though, because obviously Blue4 is not going to commit forces outside this massive perimeter they already have. Uh, and this force is just meant to be a light harassment force that can remount a sector, uh, remount and attack from a different angle, because assaulting through this open field would be suicide. Mm -hmm. There's a sector There's captured. Someone. And Reap... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Carpenter? You just gonna do that to the man? Uh, I have never seen that TSB member before in my life. Kelly almost ran over Carpenter. Yes, he does. He, you see the blood on the ground. He does fuck him up. Kelly, what the fuck are you doing? What is your major malfunction, Private? Oh my god. I just heard a Maz round impact somewhere. It went towards the BTR. Didn't land a hit, though. Yep. Lots of shots coming out. Uh, actually, from the BTR. No, that's Alpha 2. That's the PKM on the roof. Don't we drink and drive. Two more go out. That nearly, just barely missed the uh, kill post BTR. Mm -hmm. He is very lucky, and they need to move. When a rocket hits near you, chances are there's going to be another not too far away if it missed. Real quick, there's no one dead on either side yet. Seriously? Yeah, there's no skulls. We did see a few people disconnect. This is round three. Of the, of, this is the final round. Yeah, so if they die, they'll DC, but I don't... I saw Paz disconnect, but I don't know. He was I'm looking at where there's... 
battle lines, but... Yeah, no, Pat's... A, he, mm, he was part of Fox Red Seal. I'm sure there was more than five in there previously. But uh, either way, casualties have been low to non-existent. Yeah. Maybe, Diggs. Uh, but by then it'll be... Uh, Morrow will come they? down from the... Uh, Swola's, uh, nope, Swola himself is picked off, gunning for that uh, 50 cal. And we've got Kernshaw, who was the gunner for one of the PKM Humvees picked off. What? Those orbitals are landing really close to the guys on the roof of the, of the uh, castle tower. Jane Saunders, Mito, Nuclear Moose, like, feet yeah. inches away from those impacts. Mods can sound public. Ash doesn't know how. It's okay. And that is making them scatter a bit. We do see Coda and Stanners with the uh, 240s opening up on the Taru as well. How they So, any one thing about the Taru, real quick, it is one of the most armored Humvee, uh, excuse me, helicopters in the game. Uh, it is a vanilla CSAT. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry to cut that off. I just saw the BTR 80 for Op 4 just take a Moz round, and it is cooking. But, as I was saying, CSAT vanilla vehicles are very overpowered. Taru, very heavily armored. It's going to take a lot to try to shoot that out. Needs to get Much out. more than MI-8. Too close as well. It's on fire. I, they're going to be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine at that distance. But, yeah, no, that's, that's exactly what I said. They were taking rockets. They needed to displace. Because they weren't going to stay alive for long with that. And that is an asset. Honestly, I'm going to say it. It was a misused asset. It was wasted. Wasted potential. Yeah, but at, at that range, it's hard to make that work. And we're seeing Dreek and Nutty Person running through the open field, trying to get in a little riverbed here. To try to move up and flank this position. And we've got King and Arma Jesus over here, two of the top players for FNF. If they're taken out early on, that could help stem the tide into Op 4's favor. But if Blue 4 can keep Op 4 from pushing in, you were talking about Might be able to hold. a strong, uh, strong weak pincer. I mean, I'm not seeing too many more people disconnect per se, but mm -hmm. um, it's looking a bit more sparse down here on the south side. So that could just be uh, yeah, uh, spooky my, my, my tricks. We do have pickles. Spooky group, Taru uh, or west, Taru 130. These are along a relatively undefended vector, so this should be able to at least get into town, which no one has been able to do so far. Additionally, well, uh, no, uh, Taru 130, because um, Taru 47, is, well, put it on as an option. Third option. Why not? Yang disconnects. So, yeah, we are seeing people disconnect as they yep. die. It just makes sense. It is the last round of the night. People are tired. Yeah, we're seeing Op 4 starting to form up in a lot of the small riverbeds to come in. Iander, though, is crawling through a, a shaved open field here. Shaved? I Sorry. I, I saw wheat. And then I, I thought this was wheat, but no, it's just uh, wheat grass actually. And yeah, rain, rain don't do the worky. So what is that flying thing? What a great question. Triple timing it through that open field. Um, just yeah. Better war talk. Uh, what's up? Oh, no. What rock? Thank you for joining. Oh, Keen's coming up the riverbed though. Yeah. I mean, call this a riverbed per se, but he's gonna find these guys, and he has the Famas. Like you said, fast fire rate. We'll he see doesn't him. notice streaks right there. He doesn't see nutty person there either. No, that foliage. And he's going to walk right past them. They don't oh, look. dear. Nope, nutty person. He sees them. Anderson. Oh! And King gets dropped by nutty. Nutty turns around and drops him, unfortunately. Yeah, that POV, those uh, shrubs, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to see them moving in. Now you got the Taru coming around. That's a little slow for my taste. They need to pick up some speed. Feels like it's lagging just a little bit up there. You know what I mean? A little. Or I'm memory leaking. That could be it as well. Sneak 100, but perception zero. I agree. Yeah, I'm totally memory leaking, BRB. Yep. Um, in the meantime, more people are going up along that riverbed. Ooh, Nutty Person gets spotted out by Flux. 
with uh he just has a, a mini me that was a great shot uh from that so if i caught it in time so i can just quickly soft log the, the server team. instead and they are very much exposed this red four team schnubbles and armor jesus holding the uh edge of the forest line up here and they are yeah they are holding steady this is about a squad size element that is caught out in the open Command might be able to help suppress and get them uh, out of this pickle, but for the BTO might not have now, caught it in time. Happening. Taru is coming in again. Might be able to lend some support, but the, uh, a lot of fire coming in from the two. Forms. Someone, Gorski just jumped out. What the fuck, Gorski? That he was, he was the 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 co. What? Well, I think I remember. I didn't catch it in time. I thought as well. Uh, what? I said I think I'm memory leaking as well, so I just. Yeah. It, for a it might Still. not be a memory leak then, but because I'm not seeing like parts of terrain flashing in and out. Yeah, that's a that's. A... I mean, I'm Sorry, this isn't super smooth. Frame, so I don't know. Yeah, I got I got frames back, but then it quickly lowered. So, if you and I are both having the same problem, it's unlikely to be a memory leak. Because also, if it was a memory leak, parts of the terrain would start flashing as they fail to render in and out. That should have happened by now. So I think it's a scripting issue. Yeah, scripting or just a lot of shit in the town. You know, lots of fire. Uh, yeah. Smoke, et cetera. I don't know. Uh, over on the west side and southwest side, we do have Red Fort getting into town. Uh, Sholin, Nielsen, all these guys up here. No, no, no. Yeah, right, Watt Rock. Thanks for coming back. So Op 4, uh, on that original riverbed they were pushing up where they got King, they're actually pulling back now because more Blue 4 have turned to that angle and started engaging. But Op 4 with Charlie have made it to the southwestern side and are slowly starting to breach in, but they got Lurch and... Never mind, Lurch is dead. Uh, Rafter, nice. <laughs> Rafter can stop him. And we also have uh, that weak pincer from the west is also starting to come in. Chult just uh, killed an Op 4 guy. AT coming in and hitting one of the PKP hum... Um, nope, this is a 240 Bravo uh, Humvee. No. No, that's a mini me hum. Jesus. 556 five, mini me Humvee. Oh, wait, where? I'll, I'll verify. Uh, Coda, Mad Smurf, and Vonk. Give me a uh, direction. Uh, western side. That That is, uh, that's a 249 or mini me Humvee, definitely. It's 556. Five, uh, no, that's 240. Is it? Jesus, I'm losing it. The one that's smoking? Yeah, no, you're right. It's got the carry hand on. I'm, I apologize, chat. Hey. I'm starting to lose it. That is, uh, 24762. My bad. Uh, so, Blue 4, Arma Jesus, Point Man, and Guy Fieri getting some revenge for King's death. They are pushing yep. up for back yeah, on that vector. And I think Command is over there, was over there at least. They might have fallen back. No, Command is dead. Tandy's is dead. So that's the head of the Explosive trap went off. It is legal action throwing some satchels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, he, oh. oh. No, he doesn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Those. Do you see all. Do you hear all yeah. the shrapnel hitting? Yeah, he. Jesus. Legal action just knocked out two people with those explosive satchels. Those are his two kills. And X Ray for Blue 4 is driving behind the line with another uh, 762 240 Humvee. I don't know who, who got the kill, but um, I think my. Hey, Shorty, thanks for the rate of fire. What you doing, man? What were you, uh, what were you streaming? Hey, got a great My coffee's wearing off, yeah. Uh, with that 416. At least I think it was Granny. Stanner's on four kills in that gunner seat. That is two of Op4's auxiliary angles to push into this AO taking out. We still got X-Ray coming in from the oh, north, geez. but... Yeah. I'm starting to see Op4 lose that really high number advantage. Pops right now. Minecraft? Uh, nice. I, I need to start, try that again. It's been so long. Yeah, Pop Tart's trying to play dead, and he might get away with it. No, yeah, he does. They're just spraying the bushes as they push forward. And now Pop Tart can stop playing dead and start healing. So if you go prone and lean left or right, uh, there's two different. 
Huh? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, if you lean left or right, there's uh, there's a prone where you lay your entire body left or right, or there's one where you turn left or right. Uh, and they do the turn one to make it look like they're in an Ace Unconscious animation, so that people yes. think they're dead. That one that he's doing is the, you go prone, and then you go even lower. There's like a yep. low prone that you can do, and that's what that is. Yeah. You kind of twist your body. Now, real quick, Op4 still has a lot of forces in the AO. Blue 4 is a little stagnant as they push down on other vectors. There's only one sector left, which is right next to the command tower. So Op4 has a lot of room they need to push here. Ooh, Iander just got caught out in the open. There's a lot of time to do it. He's KIA. Yeah, he was crawling through this open field on the wheat grass, and I think he was just picked off. But Stanners, the MG, just got picked off. He is unconscious and will need medical. It's still pretty close. It is. I mean, Red Force still have a decent chance. They have a great foothold and a lot of people here on the south southwestern side of Testdorf. Um, they need to push. Uh, wait. They've taken Sector 3. Push yeah, they took that a little while ago. Pickle's getting picked off by a GL round. I don't know. Blue Force regrouping, doing their best to make an internal. Perimeter here, Flux and Schnuffles coming around, picking off an Op4 guy who had a, an LR. They might continue to come around and pick off more Op4 forces, but Op4 is really entrenched on this southern side. It's just how are they going to push from there because they've got Blue 4, Charlie 2, and Alpha 1 to contend with who have reformed a squad here. Yeah, it's... Mm, I mean, so looking at the defenses for Blue 4... Apart from the one in the south, uh, just the West Castle Tower in that... Uh, oh, I got sniped in the heli. Sorry to hear that, man. Uh, 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 Where did that heli end up? Uh, oh, as I say, that rocket comes in, but that's probably their strongest defense. Yeah. Uh, this is just, you know, a, a handful of people at best. You know, one peep, one um, coax on his own. Uh, wait, there's two coax. Oh, they landed all the way back there. So Taru, by the way, uh, took some damage... The co-pilot was... Actually, I don't see any bodies on the Taru. I think because they were falling off. That's why. That's why we saw Gorski uh, potentially fall out there. But Olaf came in my chat to say he got shot out of the uh, helicopter. Oof. Uh, quick aside, there's yep. an AI Koak at Blue Force spawn. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. But he's completely unarmed, so he's not going to be a threat. Yeah. Free kill. Yeah, he's not even a threat. Pickles trying to peek out to see Schnuffles. Doesn't see him, though. Schnuffles spots him first. Schnuffles running out of ammo, and Pickles picking him off. Only unconscious, but that many bullets. I doubt Schnuffles will wake back up. Flux trying to cover his battle buddy, but was just a little too far behind. And Pickles pulling back, but Stuart's not coming up to join him because Stuart's busy bandaging. Flux could come around and do something. And apparently Spooky Taru is the name we're going for with that Taru play. All right. If I ever make a short, that's what I'll call it. I'll call it the Spooky Taru. Hate you. Love you too. Mm. All right, so Op4 X-Ray is coming around. Major Cullen staying way back with that marksman rifle. I think that's a bit of a misplay. He should be trying to get a little closer. He might be having tech issues. Nope, never mind. He's running him. But as long as an Op4 guy can get into Sector 2 and they kill Total Con Science, they can still win. Uh, that Gorski uh, scrolled too far and ejected himself. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, he <laughs> I'm going to say it's a Leroy Jenkins, but Bassbeard picking off point men, knocking him unconscious. Uh, Schnuffles double tapped by Pickles, and Flux is now staying in the second story. Climbing out, though, he's going to hurt himself on that little fall. Uh, yeah, I see a little blood over there. It's probably a little scratch. Yep, he's now trying to push. He's trying to get on the rooftop to try to get a bit of a terrain advantage, but he's not going to be able to. Oh, Pickles coming around. This comes around a bad time. Flux does have the 249, so he's able to out, uh, oh god, outshoot oh, god. Pickles there. Oh, <laughs> Blas fucking head gets blown off, and Flux putting quite a few rounds on the head for the double tap. Stewart trying to peer over, doesn't see Flux. Flux on a killing spree. He's on nine kills, by the way. Wait, what? Nine whole fucking kills. 
Jesus! Point man woke back up. He's bandaged himself in a building. Flux doing attack reload. 25 minutes to go on the mission. He's getting shot at and he gets picked off by Bassbeard. Bassbeard, good kill. He's Nine up. kills though. Yeah. 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 Got Op4 X-Ray sneaking in. Matozo mag dumping one of the blue four guys. I thought it was on Vormalk. But no, that other blue four guy was super exposed. Gets a headshot on Vormalk. Uh, Vormalak, excuse me. And Matzo getting those for free. Nice. Matzo. <laughs> Let me guess. Matzo ball soup. Matozo, that's it. There you go. Catch throwing a grenade, saying catch. That's going to keep Vor uh, Vormalak down. And the M2 MRAP. Who doesn't get anything with that, but definitely added a bit of a shock value there. Major Cullen coming around with that marksman rifle. Uh, he. Duh. Oh, okay. Okay, Major Cullen, you do you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not even going to speak about that. Over the oh, oh, that was dirty. Bassbeard pushing up and taking out um, Point Man, making sure he's dead this time. Bassbeard on his fourth kill. Nice. Op Four's kind of wrestled that number advantage away from Blue Four that was forming, but it's still not enough. Yeah. And we got Arma Jesus here the on five kills himself. For both sides now. Takes yeah. out Fist. Ooh. Nice. Shows him that anger is not the way. You need to follow the Lord. Matozo contesting with Jane, but Jane and Nuclear Moose uh, deliver some shots and take Matozo out. Shots? Someone say shots? We got Nafs coming in. He's a very good PvP on his own, and he does have a mini me. So we could see a little bit of an upset there. Because there's not a lot in between him and the AO, but honestly, uh, if we if we have an ex uh, demo specialist come up to sector two and throw a satchel, it would be over for Blue Fort, but there are not that many uh, demo specialists left. I think there's actually just one in the form of Private Garcia. No, that's Koak it. Is also one. No, Koak is, oh, you're talking about Red Four. Yes, because Red Four would throw the satchel on the command tower, not Blue Four. That would be silly. Koak, I think, has a satchel near him. If Colin's you dead. You hear the mine detector going. Not surprised off. with that one. I mean, he has a trap set. <laughs> Stripped down to his handgun. I think he ran out of marksman shots. Where? Wanted to play it James Bond style. Mad respect. Yes, right on the other side of the, of the barricade that where Koak is at, there is a satchel charge place down. I don't think it's going to see any action at, in, in, the, in the end, but uh, yeah. Insurance. Insurance, exactly. Nafs is coming up to try to breach oh. Mido on the tower, Nafs. but from here, he could get some really good shots. It's done. Blue 4 wins. Look at the map. There's only about 6 or 7 left for Red 4. Yeah. About 15. Like, double Red 4's count. It's Nafs. because people uh, like Arma Jesus... Uh, oh gosh, who, who were we just talking about uh, as well who got the Koak? nine kills? Koak, yeah, like nine uh, kills no, for him. No, 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 that wasn't Koak. It was, um... I'm blanking so hard on it, I'm sorry. Same. But I'm Nav's got the kill on Mido. He's quickly banjing, but from here, he can um, get some good machine gun kills off of the guys up on the tower. And if he can pick them all off and then it come into the tower... Flux, the flux yes. And Nafs is uh, uh, real quick, jumping around. For Blue Four. Flux has nine. Armor Jesus has five. Point has four. Guy Fieri has three. Like, those are Scandi numbers we're looking at. Yeah. Great job all around. Mm, Edwin and Sanders are clearing buildings. Drake has been bandaging up right there next to them. Nafs taking GL fire. So Forced close. to bandage. Bassbeard catches Edwin out of position. Doesn't know that Sanders is there. Bassbeard might chunk a nade or that rocket launcher on his back either or yeah bass period on four kills he's trying to coordinate with drake drake coming in and getting the double taps yep everyone knows Ooh. mid reload but they, he doesn't know that he's there <laughs> oh and drake delivers a headshot yeah so that that's good that's supposed to trap going off to the north but it's still very much in blue force favor we have four five six seven up by the sector itself another six down on the south side of the inner perimeter uh two people down towards uh drake bassbeard and mm -hmm. eagle and then that uh swallows mrap still running around uh, with that 50 cal there's a double tap on stanners his gun freaking out a little bit because of uh physics and we still have 
Castrus over here. Jane, I don't see anymore. I think Jane got picked off, but Nuclear Moose is still a threat. And Nafs is trying to reposition here, forced to abandon that spot. Blue for uh, consolidating forces here, but leaving the sector. If someone could sneak in and kill Total Conscience up there without the rest of Blue Four noticing, Op4 would instantly win, but that is going to be incredibly difficult to pull off. It's possible. There is a chance, with, again, with how... Um fragmented some of this blue four uh, these blue four positions are yeah he moves on his own co uh, no that coac is uh, the fake one um off to the west yep uh the real coac is smurf. just to the northeast smurf oh drake got smurf but smurf's battle buddy uh um, combo got him combo got him yep so that's a good trade smurf good wake back up yep combo blue four just needs to trade one to one and we still have the mrap driving around with a oh, uh yeah. 50 cal gunner it it's investigating the shots and it is not stopping bastard again with that maw should hear that and he's just hiding nafs i thought got a pick off kill but he's only on one kill right now as blue four is sending two guys morin and wise to check out the castle and nafs is gonna sneak over or yeah. is he gonna try to get behind him I don't know, he might have heard them talking over radio. He's looking over that tower, looking for targets of opportunity. Castrus, meanwhile, trying to find... Or no, I think he actually got the kill on... Oh, why is my memory so bad tonight? I do all uh, Not total conscience, he's in the tower. Nuclear Moose, yep. Nuclear Moose is dead in that building, so he was able to get the kill. Koak also coming around, but we've got three Op4 guys really close around here oh this trench that coak is on this is dirty using the trench as a fucking platform, ai peek over the fence without having yep. to climb over and that position especially this crossroads oh that is so dirty i love it Cross now coming around as well we could still see an op for clutch we could like i'm saying like i said we could they've only lost one to blue force like four or five mm-hmm so they're doing well so far. If they can take out Smurf and Combo here on the south side, try and take out that MRAP as well. Oh, if Castrus opens that door, he hears the footsteps. Yeah. Wait, Castrus has an, uh, a Maz as well. Where's Bassbeard? Does he still have it? I guess he must have stolen uh, Blue Fours. Yeah. They both have Mazes. Yep. Castrus gets Russ getting down. picked off. But Don spots him. He's able to get away, but Koak, he's nearby. Gypsal could do something as well. If Nafs and Castrus move in and clear this tower, we are going to see an upset. Viru? Yeah. They've, they've beached the MRAP. They've beached it on a... <laughs> <laughs> they don't have enough torque on any of the wheels to pull it off. They're trying. Oh, Rust wakes back up. Castrus doing the double tap. Kills him. Nice. Yeah, I just gotta keep trying to do it. Swole is investigating the gunshots. Castro's trying to throw grenades up there. Oh, uh, those are just smokes. Oh, Ash is able to get the MRAP off. It's not gonna be useful right now. Swole now coming back to quickly check on things. Castro uh -oh. staying low. I think Swole spotted him. Yeah, Castro's yeah. now trying to run up. He's gonna quickly be able to get around here. Oh. Now, can he kill Total Conscience? He gets him! He can. But Swole is in the AO! <coughs> oh my god! Yeah, they could win this! Koak now running in as well. He doesn't go up the tower though. It's just Swola and Castris. Oh my god! They did it. They did it. I fucking tabbed out as they did it, but no, he downed Swola and they got it. Up for wins. Up for wins. How? Outmanned. Three to one. They win it. G fucking G. G fucking Clutch your kick. Clutch or fucking <laughs> Not kick. Just fake actors following a script. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I saw it right here in the script. Oh my god, the clutch play. 
the clutch play. Blue 4 had four people up there. I do not understand why they left that tower. That was such a bad idea. They weren't thinking about it. They weren't thinking about it. Swole oh. thought about it for a little bit, but he didn't, he, he well, no, yeah, no, he went up, uh, Kowak uh, stayed outside the sector. He was, he, My like, God. Oh, Swola. The 1v1, all those men on the field, and it came down to that 1v1. Oh my God, what a hero, absolutely. What a fucking hero. Oh, a lot of people <sighs> mad, yeah. Let's let's jump downstairs. I want to have I want to have a listen. What's well, okay? Feel free to DM me. Love you, hugs and kisses to all. If I made like what a hero, hero. I would have made it better. What a hero! Hero. You you killed me and then won the game. Yeah. Going back to one Where's two one. I can't believe this. Oh shit! The car. Oh. So, it's the popo. So, it's the ambulance for all the blue four players that got robbed. They honestly got fucking robbed. <laughs> Call bro. an ambulance. He need milk. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> um, from from spectator's perspective, um, op four was outmanned at least three to one. At least, probably closer to four to one. Yeah. We even got outplayed on several occasions. Well, I mean, if you consider the amount of relevant players. Uh, Ooh. It only it only took one, but all right. Here's the deal. I'm gonna go raid someone doing an airborne op. The 501st is doing a charity event, and it looks like the Zeus is streaming it. I'm not gonna raid the Zeus because, again, my personal issues with the 501st. I just I don't. There's too much there. But you are free to go on your own volition and go check them out. But otherwise, I'm gonna make this um this other guy's night. So thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers. Have a good one.